Look who I found, the Rivers Casino, Sugar House Casino in Philadelphia, PA, the great Mike Social, one of the great managers. You know, we go from writers, we had a basketball extraordinaire, right and now yeah. I think we've got a guy who tried to make Joe West look better than him. The great Springfield owned Mike Social. Hello, Mike. Welcome to the Voice of Reason, sir. Thanks, guys. Great to be here with you. It is a, first of all, an honor because I've been a fan of yours for many years to be able to come up and introduce myself and say, you know, hey, my name is such and such. But I feel like I'm nowhere near the level you You have had the great baseball career. You've been in the World Series. Uh, you've won the World Series, I should actually say. You've played Barry Bonds in the World Series. And, and tell us about this remarkable uh, run that you've had. Well, I was uh, very fortunate and very blessed. And it's a it's something, a privilege I never take for granted to play 13 years in the major leagues and then get an opportunity to manage for 19 years. and had the uh, good fortune of winning a World Series as a player and a manager. So, and, yeah, and yes, you were yeah. 40 years, I think, in Los Angeles because you were also a Los Angeles Dodger. A lot of people don't right. know yes. Mike Sosha was a Dodger. Tell us about that run. Well, it was, uh, it was a great run. It was a great organization and played for a great manager at time, Lasorda, who, uh, uh, who definitely uh, got the most out of us. And uh, we're, you know, we're, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've had a, a, a tremendous experience in professional baseball. Fran Dunphy, Susie Culver, Billy Melchiotti, <laughs> Troy Vincent. Yes. Yeah. The list goes on and on. You're being honored tonight again at the Philly Sports Hall of Fame. Could you talk about a class as good as this? Well, I I, I read the, the name and I'm wondering what I'm doing with all these guys because they're they're <laughs> special people and uh, special in, in all their uh, individual fields. But I'm uh, uh, I'm, I'm very I feel it's a great uh, honor and a great privilege to be selected into this group. Uh, growing up in Philadelphia, I definitely know the ins and outs of uh, Philadelphia sports scene, and it's uh, it's a terrific uh, just a, it's a terrific honor. Your most favorite moment between being a player and manager. Oh, definitely 1988, winning the World Series with the Dodgers as a player. Uh, you were on that team with Kirk Gibson in yes, that walk-off. Yes, and um, I think just having the opportunity to, uh, you know, to be part of a, a, a great underdog club that beat two highly favored teams in the playoffs is uh, it gives us, a, you know, it gives a great feeling. And you're a Phillies fan through and through. Tell us about they've just hired Joe Girardi as the new manager, and Bryce Harper is back for his second year. Uh, this team certainly could be one of, if not the teams to beat, now that uh, the National East is now favored because we now have a new champion in the NL East, the Nationals. Tell us about that. Well, I, first of all, the Phillies are a great organization. have a lot of talent in their team. I think Joe Girardi is a great choice. I think he is going to blend some analytics with some old-fashioned uh, fundamentals, and I think he's going to get the most out of those guys, and I'm sure they're going to uh, continue to move forward as an organization. Come back to managing soon, my friend, because I miss because I miss seeing you yell in the dugout. Jake Schwartz again here at the Philly Sports Hall of Fame, the great Mike Sosha. Congratulations on this historic honor. Thank you very much.